I'm Siobhan and this is my Jesus story. Um, I grew up on the northern beaches with my mum and dad. Um, I think that my favourite things to do usually are play softball, I love to go to the beach. Um, snorkeling is pretty much like the best thing ever and just swimming around, hanging out with friends, catching up with people, it's pretty great. Yeah. As a kid I guess that I went to Sunday school a little bit but I didn't really go to church much. Um, my first sort of introduction to Christianity really was um, when Buffy invited me to come to youth group when I was probably in year two or three. Um, it started off as a bit of a social thing, so we just go down on a Friday afternoon, hang out at her place, and then get down to, to um, kids, kids group, you know. Um, <laughs> um, it was mostly a social thing, so we're just hanging out, playing games, getting to know all the leaders. Um, there was a little bit of interest in the parables and the talks, but I wasn't super, super concentrating on that. It was mostly games, so good fun. I guess that um, that changed a little bit when I was probably in year six. Um, went on a camp to, I think it was called Mission Impossible at the time, um, and I actually started to think about the idea of becoming a Christian and what that actually would mean. So I prayed a prayer and decided to become a Christian. Um, since that camp, I guess I've been sort of growing and um, becoming more and more committed to following Jesus, but I wasn't 100% until probably um, year 10 when I went on this creed camp and um, we got to learn about really what it meant to be a Christian and what it meant that for God to send his son to die on the cross for us. Um, I think that I actually realised that it's actually a huge huge thing for somebody to sacrifice their son and willingly die for us, you know. Um, I guess like as a little kid, you sort of think, oh yeah, God died for my sins, saved us, blah blah blah, and you don't really get what that means, like you say it like a reflex answer and, and you don't know, but it's sort of become a really massive thing for me that God actually sent his son to come down from heaven and willingly sacrifice himself on the cross to save all of us, you know, and it didn't really mean much in the past, but now it's actually really just put things into perspective and I've decided that I should live my life for him. Because Jesus Christ is alive, we're free to live. Um, at the moment I'm going into my final year of school and I know that there's probably going to be a lot of stress going on and temptations like partying and drinking that I may have to decide not to be a part of, you know, because I think now that God's way is best and um, that following Him is the better choice for me um, and I think that now I'm committed to loving Him for the rest of my life. This is my favourite Bible verse, Romans 8:38. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ our Lord. And that pretty much just sums it up for me. So.